everybody. Welcome. We're going to talk about this little posnet. It's not posset with two S's. It's posnet, P-O-S-N-E-T. And this is a little cooking vessel that was made in the 18th century. And we acquired this in 2022 at auction. And I was really excited to get this because we didn't have this form for one thing. And we didn't have any cooking implements made out of bronze and which was a common material to make cooking equipment out of. And we didn't have anything made by a known maker. And so now we do have all those things in this one little posnet pot. So you can see on here, it says Newport. And there's an LL here at the end. This was made by Lawrence Langworthy in um, Newport, Rhode Island. Uh, Lawrence Langworthy was born in England and he came to the United States. Not much is known about his life, but we do know that he died in October of 1743. So this was made before 1743. Um, and there are a few other, there are a bunch of others uh, that were made by Lawrence Langworthy. Sometimes this, instead of Newport, it said Langworthy on it. Um, but we have the Newport and the LL here on ours. And this was a very common form in the 18th century. Um, and uh, 18th century dictionaries defined a posnet as a, um, a cooking vessel, a small skillet, something like that. Um, those were the words they used. And so this would just be used, it had a nice long handle so you could sit it in front of a fire easily and pull it back out. It had three legs so it wouldn't tilt anyway. If it sat on something, it would always be steady. And it had a nice deep, pot so that you could put whatever you wanted in it, something like a sauce, heating something up. Um, and another reason why I wanted this is because um, this is a, another way to talk about different types of cooking methods in the 18th century. Not everything was made in a big pot hanging over the, the fire, although a lot of stuff was. Um, but this gives you an idea that, you know, maybe smaller uh, pots were needed to um, make sauces and um, make some more refined types of cooking. Uh, this piece was found at an old house in Jamaica, New Plains, New York. Um, that's all I know about its provenance before it came to us. And um, so we got it at auction and we are very excited to have it and to talk about it. It, um, it has just this really great form, these, these D-shaped legs, feet, that make them nice and steady. There's a flat spot and then this is curved on the outside. And it's just a really nice piece and we're excited to have it and to talk about um, other ways to cook other people who made these important forms and the materials <laughs> <laughs>